It is a beautiful summery day here in Amsterdam. It's like 13 degrees, I've got my t-shirt on. But what I'm excited about at the moment is that the Amsterdam light show is on. And so I'm thinking I will go and check out some of these uh, 50 installations around the city. But of course it's daytime, so I will need to uh, wait until the evening when it will be a little cooler and a little darker. I think this is where I'm starting. This is the first lamp. There is another one across the river there. Um, I'm guessing that's where I'll finish. It's so damn bright. Alright, let's sit down. This one is uh, Starry Night by Ivana Yelik and Pavle Petrovic. It turns out they're on both sides of the street and I've already missed one, so this is not going to be a uh, comprehensive list, but it should be fun. Midnight Summer Dream, these are washing machine drums apparently. And I just tripped over a trash bag. Going well. Let's move on. Uh, that one's pretty cool. It's a projection installation across the street to get to it. But it's, um, yeah, much better view from over here. This one's supposed to simulate brain activity. Yeah, it's to, yeah. It's a uh, big old inflatable <laughs> balloony things spread across the canal all lit up. It's like, OG E Group's Lighter Wish. Dandelions suspended over the canal, it's beautiful. Alright, next. Just when you think you figured it out, it works differently. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. <laughs> Squash City, that's where Nick the American is right now and why he's not joining me on my tour. Are you coming to the lights with me, Nick? Absolutely not. I have to go home and sit and stare at a wall. Please don't film me. Don't film me. Nah, don't film me. Don't film me. No, it's not, it's not, it's not. Among other reasons, I'm sure. And it's just started to rain. I don't have my umbrella. This will be, we'll be fine. Success, sort of. It's gonna be a few minutes. All right, we're good. So, back on the road, heading down towards Central Station. I can see some red flashing lights. So this must be the right way. From the side, the image of the lips disappears, and you see a heartbeat instead. So up here somewhere there should be another work called Antenna Suit. If I'm going the right way. It's uh, TV antennas. Somewhere. It's... Where is it? The other installation over there you can't see from behind, it basically it's lettering that says all light you see is from the past, which is very deep. I'm not going over there because like this place is awful and there's literal trash everywhere. So maybe we'll give that one a miss. This one's kind of cool, I like it. It's projected, it's an installation, it's a bit of everything. 
but now I'm cold. I am wet. And so I'm gonna catch a mad trip. Go home to my nice warm bed. And pick this up again tomorrow night. <laughs> okay, I am back at the site of the first light. Uh, it's been more than a few days because I've had other things in my life happening. So, I'm gonna this time, I think, go counterclockwise instead of clockwise. Uh, last time I ended up just a couple blocks that way, having completed about half the loop. This portion is much larger, so I'm gonna end up walking like way out west. But hopefully that should be fine. So I am gonna start walking. When I first saw this one, I thought it was just Christmas lights. Turns out it's a full-on art installation. It looks kinda cool. Spidery kinda weird limbs and things like that. Odd. This one's called Code. Can't really focus on it super well, but it's a bunch of numbers and letters. So I'm guessing the idea is we need to work out what it says. What could it possibly be trying to tell us? Anyway, moving on. projection work. I can't quite tell what's going on. Uh, this one's called Neighbors. Okay. It's a series of projections. That one's cool. Absorbed by light, it's called, and it's kind of a, a critique or more just a commentary, an observation of how modern life is. It's not especially clever, but it's the implementation is beautiful. All right, I think the next one's that way somewhere. Like it could be it. I wonder if I can have like a new favorite of the evening because that was pretty sweet too. Big old LED display made up of like low res pixels, uh, transmitting images, and you can check them out on Instagram. Apparently. I used to ride this way to work on the first month or so I was here, staying at the student hotel. It looks like we have another net of lights. Okay, so that is the parabolic light cloud, it represents emotion. It's just pretty, I guess. The cool thing is, I have actually been here before as well, so I didn't realize this, but this is where the uh, Botanic Gardens is, which I visited last time I was in Amsterdam. So, yeah, small world, small city, but small world. <laughs> Bunch of filters and things. Uh, represent, I don't know. It's, it's a thing. Here's another thing. Projectors hooked up to wires which were kind of oscillating in that sort of undulating effect. We're actually like a fair ways toward the end of the uh, trip. There's like a handful more. They're a bit more scattered around than the first lot were. So yeah. pick up the pace and uh, yeah, might get through this tonight.
Yeah, that's cool. So now we're a bit closer to the city centre. That is the bridge. No, what's the opposite of a bridge? The tunnel that takes to the other side to Amsterdam Nord. Here is a full-on sailing ship. And this looks like a projection. Yeah, don't really know what it's about, but uh, I'm gonna go over see if there's a plaque or something. Oh, here it is. I get it now. I also missed one. Uh, that sort of whatever that is. But I don't think I'm gonna head back. I'm continuing my walk across the, uh, well, past the tunnel uh, to what is the final installation of the evening. So that is uh, the Mr. J.J. van der Veldebrach bridge. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much concludes our tour. This is the library from episode, like, whenever it was. And it looks like that's the final installation over there. It's an eyeball. been fun. I'm excited to have seen everything. I'm glad to say I did. I've discovered new parts of the city and enjoyed doing so. It's been a bit of fun. All right, well that's about it I reckon. Thanks for coming along. See you next time.